Life Track with Chuck Swindoll is a presentation of Insight for Living Canada. Chances are good that most of us have never witnessed with our own eyes human slavery, not in raw reality. We've never seen a human being standing on a slave block, bidded for by someone purchasing him or her as he would a mule. I can think, not think of anything that is more unjust, brutal, or ugly. As an American, I find myself on occasion not just confused, but thinking of that as unconscionable, that our forefathers were brave enough to fight for our liberty from the motherland of England only to turn around and most of them have slaves, enslaving others without a slightest hesitation, apart from the haunting specter of guilt. Think of it. Free citizens owning slaves. Uh, frankly, the triangles will never be mentally congruent. It took a bloody war between the states to break the yoke of slavery. It took a president with backbone, clear thinking, courageous at heart, to finally acknowledge the truth of it. And by New Year's Day, 1863, releasing an Emancipation Proclamation, announcing that it would be made law that slaves be freed. Not only willing to declare it, but if necessary, and in fact he did, to die for that. Interestingly, it was not until long after his death December 1865, before Congress finally brought it into action, and the word became the bold headlines of newspapers across these United States. Slavery legally abolished, read the headlines. But there wasn't a plantation owner that wanted to hear such a thing. And so with the threat of death upon those slaves, the plantation owners held on to them as long as they could. Heartbreaking stories. But to add tragedy to the scene, many slaves, knowing that they had been freed, chose to remain living in the shacks and squalor of slavery. Isn't it amazing that those who had been freed chose to remain enslaved. Now, if you think that is tragic, I'll tell you something that is equally bad, if not worse. Christians who have been set free choosing to remain enslaved. Finding more comfort and security in slavery than delight and joy in the risks of liberty, they re we remain there. Some of you hearing my voice today look as though you were free, but you are enslaved. Fact is, you know more about your sin than you do about your righteousness. Sometimes as Christians, we become preoccupied with the things we do wrong. We live as though we're still slaves to sin, but our focus should be on following Christ. He's our new master. We need to stay close, spend time in his word, and obey him. Christ has not only set us free, he gives us the power to live free. This is Steve Johnson of Insight for Living Canada. Listen to more of Chuck Swindoll's Lifetrack messages at lifetrack.ca. Lifetrack, where life and truth meet. The preceding Lifetrack presentation was brought to you by Insight for Living Canada. 
The original message, Dying to Live, was copyrighted in 2007, and this live track sound recording was copyrighted in 2012 by Charles R. Swindoll Incorporated. All rights are reserved worldwide.